Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today, yay, I'm showing you how to make this. So it's an Emma um, space themed cake topper and it's a shaker so you can see. I love it. So, um, all right, we're gonna do this. Kind of take a look at this in comparison to what you see already on the screen, because we're gonna, you know, uh, replicate that. So, this is it. Okay, let me make my face smaller. All right. So, this is what we have here, <clears throat> and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller just so that we have everything on the screen. Okay, so the big thing about cake toppers, and I would say cake toppers and banners in general, is um, the layers, right? So you can see here the name Emma, the number eight, even the little circle thing. Everything has multiple layers. So there's an offset, so we're gonna be using Inkscape for both the name, the number, and as well as the planet. <clears throat> excuse me um and <clears throat> when you're assembling it you're also going to be layering it, layering it even more by adding i don't know if you can see here but do you see all the different layers so we're putting sort of um a spacer in between the layers so for instance the eight you have that gold layer on top in between the gold and the blue you're going to put um, you're going to use your glue gun and put little dots down so that and let it dry so that it becomes a permanent um, part of the cake topper. Then once it dries, then you'll dab it with a little bit of the glue gun. So then then you're actually going to use the glue gun to make it stick. So that's pretty much what we're doing. We're layering everything and then all the stars in here, we're saving those and we're adding it on top to here. And any extra ones like stars or little circles, we're actually putting it inside the shaker. So we're not wasting anything. And then if you could see here, even this star, this is all the excess stars. And you see it's all the different colors, it's layered, everything just feels very 3D-ish. So, all right, first thing is, I love my font lab pad. This is where you go. Um, my, oops. Uh, let's see, my recent font, it's space. I do love this font. So there's my eight, as well as Emma, right? We're gonna save it as an SVG, go into Inkscape. Now I've already done this here. So I'm gonna, um, let's see, let's delete this. Let's go to file, we're gonna import the file in. So I'm gonna import the eight. And I'm only gonna do the eight, okay, because You'll get a you'll get a feel for how to do it. Okay, so this is very similar to Design Space. You want to make sure that your file is locked because we're going to make it big so you can see it. And I make it big not only for you guys to see it but for me to see it. Um, so here's our eight. Then what you want to do is your cursor right now you have this selected. Click in the white section. So now nothing is highlighted, right? We're going to go and I'm sorry I'm going to have to make this a little bit smaller because my recording buttons are in the way. Okay, so then you wanna hit the paint bucket, pick any color, it doesn't matter because we'll fix it in design space. Then you wanna grow or shrink by, and I did 10, 20, 30. Okay, so here's 10, and we're basically growing it by 10 millimeters. So I'm gonna click on the eight, take the paint bucket, your cursor, uh, click on the eight, and you see it gives you just a slight outline, right? Now go over, click the arrow, click in the white space because right now our number eight is highlighted. Okay, hit the paint bucket. Let's pick a different color. Let's go up to 20. So this is gonna be slight. There is barely an outline, okay? We'll click it on here and you can see um, that's just a little bit bigger. We're gonna do it one more time. Hit the arrow, the white space, the paint bucket, a different color, change this to 30. And you can, um, I'm not sure how much I like the 10, 20, 30, as much as I like 20, 40, because I think it's so slight, but you can see it on my Instagram. I posted it last night. Okay, so we already picked a different color. Let's click on this. All right, now you're gonna take your arrow key, um, hit in the white area. We're gonna grab all of the layers and go to path, object to path, 
and then file save as and I already saved this as eight offset okay so save it there then we're gonna go into design space and you're gonna upload upload image browse go find your file so mine was eight offset right so click here there it is save and then we're gonna import it in so we're gonna select that and insert image now if you notice uh, for whatever reason I have this line don't worry about it select it on here in your right hand side panel and just delete so it's gone all right so here is my I'm gonna ungroup it and we're going to change this up because we want this is our most back layer so bring this arrange send to the front this goes on top like this this goes on top even more and then our final layer we send to the front all right so um, and the way to make it layered evenly is just grab all four and um, align center there and I would group it at this point so that when you move it it moves together and you don't have to worry about the layers now obviously these aren't the colors that we want um, when you're layering you want to make sure that you don't I love using all textures so on this one I had metallic I had foil I had glitter regular acetate all of that um, you just don't want glitter on glitter okay so you want a contrast so if your top layer your black layer I did that as the gold glitter cardstock so just know that you change this is gold but I also have gold metallic so you can see the difference between the two um, so just so you know <laughs> all right so that's that layer I think my second layer I did a dark blue so let's change it to my dark blue and then the third layer I did a silver glitter cardstock and then my last layer is a midnight blue which I think I must have used did I do that one I did do that one I used that color for some reason I think oh no I did purple okay um but it doesn't matter you can choose your own colors all right um I'm going to upload this circle is an offset that I bought from creative Fab fabrica so again you can look at this this is whoops I didn't end group okay there we go so you can see those are my layers um so let's bring that to the front to the front um back all right so you can see there's barely any difference between those right all right so here's there's that and as well as with this I would um, align center and then group it so that it's moving together and we want to make this bigger I'm never concerned with what size I'm doing at first. I just want to make sure that, for instance, if I like the circle this size, it doesn't matter that it's six by six or almost seven by seven. I just want to make sure that everything else is proportionate to my circle and will resize at the end. So let's move this eight to the front because it's sitting in the front. This looks a little bit big to me. All right. And then what I did was, if you can see over here, I placed some stars in here and welded it to this top layer. So let's do that. Um, I found those stars and images. So I have design, I have um, access. So um, stars, let's see if I can find the same ones. I don't remember. It had an offset already. So let's hope that it's still here. Um, Hmm. there insert image and I like this because it has the offset <clears throat> so this is cut and print which is not what I wanted I wanted change that to no fill so now it's cardstock and let's duplicate that and that's right I remember now 
it didn't have the offset. So we're just gonna make this smaller and make sure that we like how small it is. Okay, so that's, that's how I did it, okay? Now what we wanna do is we wanna separate this. So I'm gonna make this um, I think I had one, the bigger one, let's see, the smaller one is going to be the metallic gold, and then this, <clears throat> we can keep at this color right now. All right, I want to separate this because all three are together, so I want three of them separated, then I need three copies. So here's my three copies. This first one, I'm going to go to contour. I'm selecting, deselecting what I don't want. So I don't want the middle one. I don't want the right one. So all that's left is my left, um, my left star. All right, this one. Go to contour. I want the middle one. So I want to deselect this one, deselect this one. Here's my middle star. And then on this one, I want the right one. So contour, let's get rid of the middle and the left. And I'm left with the right one. <laughs> Okay, um, now I don't wanna resize this right now because they match this one, okay? So if I'm gonna resize something, I wanna resize both of them together. So this one, same thing, I wanna break it up. So let's duplicate, duplicate. So I have three copies, go to contour, get rid of the two. So I'm doing it in order left to right. So just so that I have, um, the big one's kind of obvious, but I feel like these two are very similar in size. So it's just easier if you have a method. All right, here's that one. And then my last star, go to contour. Let's get rid of the left, the middle, and we're left with the most right one. All right. Now I feel like this big star is too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this. Oops. Just gonna grab it all over here, okay. And together I'm sizing it smaller because you remember they have an offset. They have a, these two go together, right? So I want to keep them proportionate. Okay, so I like it, you know, just here, another one here. And Emma's going to be at the bottom, so I don't need a star there. And I put a star here. Now, what you're going to do then is you're going to grab this star. This one's already grabbed. Hit your shift key, go grab this star, go grab this star, and go grab the green. And you'll know that that's what you grabbed because on the right hand side panel, they're darker, they're selected. So here's our stars. And oh, we want to ungroup that. Okay, so we got to hold on. Let's grab this green and then the star, star, and star, and weld. So now it all becomes, it becomes part of this. And then this will sit on top, hold on. Let me move this to the front. So later we're gonna glue this on top. So you see we're just, all we're doing right now is just building a ton of layers, right? So we've got our top layer, we have our eight, arrange them to the front. Okay, just so you can kind of see what we have, right? Send this one to the front. We're building it right now so that you can see what it looks like. And then we have this little guy over here, arrange, send to the front. And so um, you can change your colors here to match this. Now then let's go to images. And I think I searched for planet. And there was one image that had the ring separated. Oh, it's this one. So click on this one, insert image. Now I only want the ring, I don't care about the planet. So I'm gonna ungroup it and I'm gonna get rid of the planet. So select it and delete it. Okay, so now I have my ring. And you can kind of see I, for whatever reason, I wanted the heavier side on this side. So I just clicked on this, arrange, or I'm sorry, flip. And I want to flip horizontal, there we go. And then I unlocked it because if I don't lock it, or unlock it, it's getting the, this is gonna be too big and I don't want this ring to be the focus of my, of my cake topper. 
I want it to be part of it, but this is too big, right? So that's why I unlocked it, made it skinnier, but still part of my design. And my star is going to be in front. <clears throat> All right, so I have that. Um, Emma, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to duplicate it because it's the same way that we did the eight. Okay, make it bigger. I want it there. Um, let's see, what else do we have now? Um, I think that's it for this. So this is the top of the cake or the top of the, of the cake topper. But we want to make the shaker part, right? So we have to add a layer in the back that's full. So what I did was, let's go to our layers, our rings, right? So our most back layer is this one. We want to contour that one. And we want to get rid of this center because we want it solid. So that gives us our solid background, right? Then our middle layer, we want to stack that. So we want to duplicate this four times. Because when you stack it, you're creating space to put the sequins in between. And then I hand cut the acetate. So try to follow me here. I know I'm all over the place. First of all, if you like the size, so let's, let's resize this. Okay. So let's put this in here. We're resizing this all together. Okay. So grab all of this and make it whatever size you want to make it right now. It's nine by eight. I think I ended up making this eight, uh, eight something. Okay. Let's keep it like that. All right, so if you're happy with this size, this is, I'm going to break apart this. We're done. We're done creating, okay? So these are our layers that go in the middle. This is, um, all right, let me get the back layer. Let's ungroup our, ungroup it. Okay, so this is our backmost layer, right? So here's this layer. You're going to glue this, stack it on top. Glue this one, stack it on top. Glue this one, stack it on top. Glue this one, stack it on top. Glue this one. This one, you're going to cut an acetate um, sheet and you're going to cover it or like think of it as the plastic, the clear plastic. Do you hear that? That's going to go on top of this. It's going to go underneath this one. In between this layer and this layer is your acetate paper. This is going to go on top and you're putting sequins in the middle. Then once you have all of that, then this cake topper sits on top of that. This layer right here, all of these things have nothing to do with your sequins. All right. I hope that's making sense. I'm going to make this bigger again so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is our backmost layer. This section, all this black right here are the middle layers that I built so that it can, so I can throw in the sequins in, in there. And then there's my acetate layer. And then all of this is sitting on top of the acetate layer. And that's it. I know it's so short, but it's so beautiful. Look at all the layering and look at the height on this. So you can see everything is layered sitting on top you have that offset the colors are so pretty and it just looks like well done professional expensive cohesive like thought out like a whole design all right i hope that was helpful please please let me know if that um if you have any questions or if you you know just anything i'm here to help um but you'll love the cake toppers and then here's the back so you can see i sort of I wasn't sure where I was putting everything originally. So that's why I have all these glue dots. But these glue dots um, is what will give it some height in between the layers. So you can see it just bounces up from the, the layer that you glue it to. All righty. All right. So let me know comments, questions, whatever. I'm here to help you with your project or on this one. But I love, love this. And I hope you will too. Bye.